Hi guys, I'm back tonight to show you guys how to make baked chicken with the bacon bottom and wild rice. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I'll show you, see if we can get this to work better tonight. So the first thing you're gonna do is take and set your um, oven to 375 and then you're going to lay out bacon in a nine by 13 pan. So I'm going to do that right now. And this is um, bacon that we've gotten from Nick's um, parents' um, pig farm. So it is not as pretty as um, the store-bought bacon, but I, it's what we had available. So then you're just gonna try to cover the bottom of it with this bacon. I am not gonna have quite enough. It says to go ahead and put them um, along the sides of the pan, but I, unless I squish these around, maybe I'll stretch these out a little. Maybe I maybe can cut off some of this. I'll grab my scissors. And we'll cut off a little here. A little there. We'll see what we can do here. Line it up a little bit. Still not sure if I'm going to have quite enough, but we'll be pretty close. Oh, we made it around the pan. Okay. So now that we have that done, you are going to take a, about a half an onion and you're going to thinly slice it and then lay it on top of the bacon, which I already have done. So I'm just going to put these thinly sliced onions um, into the pan. you're going to do is take four tablespoons of butter, salted butter, and then lay it on top of on the top of the onions. Spread it out all over. Of course, I left my butter out. I cut it earlier, and now it's soft and is not going to lay nicely. And see if I can finish off my chunks of butter here. I'm not trying to get it out of the pan. Okay. You are going to get a um, large bowl. And I'm going to switch you to my bowl. Sorry. I'm trying this uh, tripod, and it's still not a very good job. It doesn't like to stay up. So, I don't know if that's Again. I'm not sure. Alright guys, one of these times I'm going to get this all figured out. So then in a large bowl, you're going to take um, three boxes of like Uncle Ben's rice. You're going to get it all cooked up. It's got to be prepared. We're going to add that to a bowl. I'm going to go grab that real quick. So then I have three boxes of Uncle Ben's rice. And mine's actually a rice roni, but same thing. We're going to put it into a bowl here. Okay. And 
then what we're going to do is add soup to the mix. Um, it calls for a cream of onion or a cream of mushroom. I don't have either one of them on hand, so I have a cream of celery. So we're going to do cream of celery. And add that to my bowl. Take one cup of sour cream. I gotta grab it out of the fridge. try to do like the heart healthy soups if possible Sorry, there's a terrible glare with that light and the light sour cream you can't taste a difference it's better for you so I usually go about doing those because nobody in my house can notice the difference and I'm gonna scoop in a cup of sour cream to our mix And then the next thing we're gonna do is add a cup of broth. So I'm gonna grab that out. And again, we do the 35% less sodium. If you go to the no salt, it really is not very tasty. So you end up having to add salt. So I just go with the 35% less and it works great. garlic powder. So I'm going to get the teaspoon out. I don't usually measure this. I kind of just sprinkle so I think it's enough, but I did a teaspoon of garlic. And then we are going to add just, um, um, it says just, uh, you know, some salt and pepper. So I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Stir this all up until combined. Sorry for the banging. Fury's deciding he's trying to get food. Okay, now that we have it all stirred up, let's see if I can cannot show you guys. There you go. There. And then what we're going to do is to stir and then we are going to spoon this in over the top of that bacon and onions and butter. So I'm going to put it in on top. this recipe I don't see why you couldn't easily cut this in half I mean you probably wouldn't use a whole package of bacon but you could always save that and have it for breakfast the next day or um, you know BLTs another meal you can make with it um, so I don't see why we, you couldn't cut this recipe in half if you needed to um, also then we are going to take and put in chicken tenders I don't have chicken tenders, I have chicken breasts. So I'm going to put four of them defrosted. And then it says just kind of to press them down in there a little ways. Not submerge them, but press them down. So I'm gonna. Tenders probably would have been an easier, especially with kids, easier to grab out and serve up than the other, but work and then you're gonna after you do that there's um 
two more tablespoons of melted butter. You're gonna just drizzle or over the chicken or if you have a brush, brush the chicken, which I do. So I'm gonna brush on top of the chicken. This is a new recipe I'm trying, so we'll see if the kids like it. I'll probably get a bunch of, ew, I don't like that, even though they haven't tasted it. And then, is that just a sprinkle with some salt and pepper on the top of the chicken? And then what you're gonna do is take and cover, cover the pan um, with foil and bake for 55 minutes. And then you're gonna, after the 55 minutes, is uncover it and bake it another um, probably about 20 minutes until the chicken is um, cooked thoroughly. And that's um, 160 degrees, I believe, for chicken. I remember right. Um, so if you have an internal, uh, if you have a thermometer to check the internal temperature, um, you could do that also. And then after you're all said and done, you could sprinkle some parsley or some um, chives over top of it, and you are ready to go. This is what it looks like all made. Oh my goodness! I'll try this again. There it is, all nicely settled in there. Um, so I will go ahead and put the foil on and throw it in the oven. So, um, also if I didn't rem remember to tell you, it's 375 on the um, oven. So, uh, if you try it, I hope you guys enjoy it and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.